Michael Pollard again? Well, I just uh, not that I just wanted to record another one of these videos like this so I would go ahead here. Hmm. In Ireland, uh, one patch of land is still around. Yeah. I'm not really seeing that any of the land is at the border of the map because the borders are covered by water. Hmm. I guess I should uh, be here. Hmm. Oh. Hmm, you wondering about the tax here? Well, yeah. It's all these stuff, and like, this is, has to be with saving Lillian. Oh, hold on, I had to pause the game. I do not want to waste time, okay? Uh, this is a game where you start a new city, load a new, uh, load a city, uh, save a city. Uh, uh, this is the options. Uh, the, where you can select the difficulty, uh, yeah, I still see a, a glitch in uh, here, I see. All the budget, you just do all the way the budget process and auto bulldoze. Hmm. It automates the bulldozing process and the disasters. Hmm. It's like it, it's like this disasters, man. You where you could you could select any one of these uh, six uh, disasters you want to happen in case you want, but uh, we do not need disasters. Speed low. It alters the speed of the game session and uh, windows. Well, we get the budget. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the budget window that we see sometimes when, well, like, every time a new year starts, and yeah, yeah that includes things like tax revenue and what they requested to you, and what you give to them, or shopping, whatever, and, and there's this help part here, yeah, which has use promo code. Well, we do not need a promo code. Uh, and there's the about section here. Uh, yeah. I'm curious about the about though. Hmm. About Michael Powers, uh, copyright 2013, uh, Joseph Mostaka. Uh, uh, Potions Copyright in 1989 to 2007 Electronic Arts Incorporated. This is free software. You can re redistribute it and or modify it under the terms of the GAU GBL free free. See the readme file for details. There is no warranty to the extent permitted by law. For the source code, go to https colon uh, double slash uh, code dot google dot com uh, slash p slash g w t hyphen micropolis uh, slash or http colon double slash uh, uh, code dot google dot com slash p uh, slash micropolis slash and that's it. Hmm. The period at the end is, well, it might be the URL or it's just simply the end of the sentence. To me, it's just the end of the sentence. <coughs> yeah, sometimes some pages, some pages use the period as part of of URL web page, but hmm. yeah, sometimes. Uh, it breaks uh, the web page. <laughs> well, now anyways, I, 
let's get back to the game. Uh, you're waiting for me to play this. Uh, okay, uh, here it is. Uh, <coughs> okay, the last video I recorded uh, this. Okay, and this video I recorded uh, the differences between the video resolution and yeah. I found out that the text was too hard to read under uh, uh, 160x90 or uh, I think 160x90 uh, um, at 160 by 90 well it gets hard to read things like game, new city, um, wire, five dollars, etc. Stuff like that. <laughs> like, when the text is so small and you're recording a particularly small video, <laughs> um, things get pixelated to the point that it's, it's hard to read. So, for... <laughs> So because I used that resolution for the last video, and, uh, well, I felt like I was having a hard time reading what was going on in the text, so I decided to, well, change the resolution of the video for this video, and I think it should work, if I can recall. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> so. Oh, the tax rate. Oh, I forgot to deal with the tax rate, huh? Okay, that's why the funds have been so weird just recently. Huh? Yeah. Oh. I think it is like if you if I want the camera to move, then I had to click on the Kiwi icon, and then I had to click on any point in the playable portion of the map, or just the map or whatever, <laughs> and then I had to move with the arrow keys. Uh, arrow keys, well. Um, I guess, well, they're like D-pad, or like up, left, down, right, and like on the MacBook Air, it's like in the bottom left portion, uh, bottom right portion of my keyboard. I guess uh, I try to explain what was going on there. And speaking of what's going on, I should try to explain what's going on here. Hmm. <laughs> I had a slow start because I was just wanting to get this video at the point where it got started. And I, was, I feel like I was trying to make a decent beginning, beginning about talking what I'm trying to do with this video. Spending too much time doing that instead of building a city, so therefore, <laughs> well, there was not enough of these funds uh, that I would ever receive in 1990 compared to the current date shown here, which is 1991. Mm, I guess things would improve here, would it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, slow start, but I think the situation will improve over time. If I'm correct, if I'm false, then I'm certain I would commit uh, quite a mistake later on.
Well, okay. I actually have a book on SimCity um, uh, tips and strategies. So like, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's like an old school book from the early nineties that well uh, talks about well how to play SimCity and uh, even shows up some of the things that the SimCity community, uh, SimCity community did back in the day. You know, like. Uh, I, I even recall that there was a person who made a city reach one million population, and that was outrageous. What a, what a, good, a, a very good achievement. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Yeah, breaking the ground for what's possible in Sim City, and then. More people started breaking more ground in Sim City. I'm sure he's not the only one to break ground in this game. Well, yeah, and I'm certain that. Hmm. Hmm. I might not be the only one who is breaking ground in Micropolis. Huh? I'm sure there are other people who broke ground in Micropolis and innovated in the game and yeah, I'm certain that there are a lot of people who did the same thing to SimCity. I guess uh, that would work uh, that way. <coughs> um, about this things that I, I sometimes do such as coughing. Uh, yeah, this is... It's quite weird, I can guess it, like, I struggle to, well, I struggle to keep uh, my norm, uh, oh, wait a minute, I was gonna say something about that, and then the electricity situation happened, I guess I could call in the wires. Alright, this is getting stranger. Hmm. Um, it's improved now. Hmm. Now anyways, <laughs> normally I have very good health, but sometimes, well, I'm trying to keep a, a decent voice when I'm recording and sometimes uh, I can make mistakes in the voice, and so I cough sometimes. <coughs> yeah, I know sometimes you can hear me burp like that. Yeah, that's because well, at times um, I eat food and and drink uh, stuff like water, soda, and tea. Yeah, stuff like that. Well, yeah. So, you might hear me do stuff like that all the time, sometimes. <coughs> yeah, and I cough too, yeah. <coughs> I have to know that I have improved my strategy all the time, you know, like... The first uh, video that I did on Micropolis, well, uh, well, it started out as uh, some kind of normal play field, but I uh, thought that, well, if I do stuff like roads and rails uh, too much, well, then I would have, I would run into a situation where my funds would be broken. Well, okay, I have. Yeah. If there was a transportation system in the city, then there would have been. If there would have been so many requests for me to handle the funding of so much money, that would risk me some bankruptcy like situation. So, I just. Well, to be fair, I would only, I would only do transportation 
as in like if I want to get uh, from another uh, from one island to another island I would have to make a bridge so that people would cross to the other island and yeah, that would be a good idea <coughs> yeah otherwise I would not use transportation police well when I find I would only use police when I find out that there are some areas in which there are some well some lame crime levels so I would put the police department if I feel like it yeah it, optional but I would only do it when I feel I would only do it when I feel like it just as much as I would only put a fire department building in the city only if I feel like there could be a fire going on that I had to so strongly deal with so yeah if I insert a fire department into a city then it would be to deal with the fire yeah it's optional but I only would do it when I feel like it okay in short I had to be careful with my budget situation I would only do transportation like to I would make road and rails or bridges for people to go to cross la water like to get one one piece of land to another piece of land like cross the la the river and yeah. yeah. get over the water yeah police uh, would only dispatch police if I find that a crime situation is particularly bad and Hmm. Yeah, and fire department. I would only do that if I see that there is a fire. Otherwise, that would not happen. I, I see. Are you waiting to see me continue building this stuff? Um, well, I just closed the budget window. So yeah. I'm being cautious about my money situation <laughs> but yeah but what is more important about my strategy is that hmm, residential buildings hmm. I thought that with a lot of residential buildings well maybe I could get a lot of fans so yeah before I thought that, I thought I, I could make, do some random buildings so randomly that I could do a, a decent city. And then, well, and I thought, well, I could just, just do a city. And then I thought I could improve on that. And then I thought, hmm. do something big with the city and then I thought residential buildings I'm not sure if uh, the, I am not sure if the evolution of the way I built my cities well went that way but I'm sure it was very similar to what I described to you I guess uh, that might be what happened I think Yes. Oh, now there's an electrical outage in one in uh, one of these buildings with the letter I at the center. Yeah. <coughs> Why? Yeah? I keep on putting wires because I notice these electrical outages and yeah I I do not want to miss out on the buildings uh, that I make 
when it comes to the electricity situation. Yeah. I do not want things to get too difficult, so <coughs> I just insert some wires to improve and voila, some more electricity uh, it came back to the eye building. Well, I better be careful though. I'm certain that it could spiral into an outage again any time soon. I think. <coughs> Hear me. Hmm. What did they say? For... <coughs> Bye. Oh, wait a minute. I think... uh, not red yet. Uh, when red, then I would uh, insert the police into the city. <coughs> Only when I feel like it, though. The city grows so fast, and yet, well, there is, well, there is not enough population. It, it, oh, wait a minute, the population is 700. Okay, I'm fine. 340, I'm fine. Population is not an issue at all because. Population X X. Hmm. Maybe I should go to super fast. Uh, oh, suddenly uh, some commercial is building up for some more popular uh, stuff. Okay, one hundred dollars. Two hundred eighty nine dollars. And hmm. Oh, okay. About these letters, you might be wondering what they stand for. R is for residential, C is for commercial, I is for industrial, FD is for fire department, and PD is police department. Hmm, I guess that would explain well. <coughs> I guess there are, there are indeed brown elves. A tornado has been reported. So far, it's out of the city. Okay, it sounds like it disappeared at the building. And 
electricity are going crazy. Like, like <coughs> what's going on? <coughs> Every time I put it in a, an industrial building, everything about the electricity situation gets bad. I repeat, every time I insert an industrial building to this city, the electricity situation gets worse. It gets bad. <sighs> How am I going to fix all this? <coughs> the same thing might imply uh, that as with... Uh, this electricity situation. Hmm. How would I even improve on this? Every time I put a building into the city, well, there's brownouts. There's a brownout here when I insert a building here, and then there's a brownout here when I insert the building here. And then the situation repeats when I insert a building here. A yeah, and this gets brown out again, and then I insert a building here, and this gets browned out again. Hmm. How much should I do about that? <coughs> build another power plant. Fine, I'll build a power plant, but after I receive enough funds, <clears throat> I do not want to complain too long about the funds. Even though the city is thriving, I'm quite complaining that there are still brownouts. When I try to fix the bubble, the brownouts still happen. Well, yes, it does fix the brownout that was there before I placed the building. But after I place the building, another brownout happens. I fix the situation by putting in another uh, building. And now, the brown note that was there is happening again here. Strange. <coughs> and now that I insert a commercial building into here, it sounds like every time I insert a building into the city, the electricity situation gets bad or worse. Every time I do something to the city, out, outage or brownouts or whatever you want to call it, brownouts keep happening. Well, fine. <coughs> I'm just going to do what I have to do. <coughs> Wires. I am not sure if it improved the situation or not. <coughs> Another tornado. And it's not in the city yet. <coughs> oh. Korea. Ah, oh, I was gonna check the tornado, and then the earthquake just happened. You know what's going to happen to the power plant? It, it's gonna receive rubble, and now it's just received rubble! Maybe the bolt goes to the solder bubble? <laughs> well, yeah, it's solder bubble, but the fire still damages. Uh, the whole thing. <sighs> How long am I 
do I need to have to restore all this? <coughs> and now I saw a monster. Some people kept on calling the monster God is ill, but hmm, it might not look like him. Hmm, the color is different. Ah. <coughs> uh. The CD is over. I forgot to put in a fire in the apartment. <coughs> this house for the new city. This time I'm easy. <coughs> okay. If you remember what I said about the difficulties uh, last time I recorded a micropolis video. Um, I'm not sure you would know what I'm trying to mean, right? Hmm. Looking at the map, <coughs> hmm. there's a glitch in the game in which, well, after you quit your previous city and move on to a new city, well, like I, what I did with this video, well, uh, uh, there would be an, an image of what happened in the previous city, instead of what happens in this yet to exist city. Well, you can see here in this Curie Zone Scottish um, uh, image that uh, this is a city uh, that happened on the previous map we played on. But when you look at the screen where you play the game, well, <coughs> currently there is no CD because we are playing on a new map. And the date is 1-1-1990. One, one, <coughs> yeah, so yeah. The screen tells you that, well, well, that there are two different cities on display here. In the Kiwi Zone window, there is a city that it already is thriving, and on the other parts of the screen, there has yet to be a city. This is why the glitch happens with the Kiwi Zone status window thumbnail image thing. So anyway, how it plans. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure if the CD that we're gonna have here is gonna last as long as the previous one we recorded on this video because, well, we have already approached 30 minutes and the currently the video is at the point where it is close to 35 minutes. <coughs> I guess that could be the case. Oh, okay. So, sometimes when a city uh, building gets built, well, well, there is not electricity in the area, but when you have a power plant connected to a building that you just built, then the electricity appears afterward. Hmm. 
Uh, sometimes you have to close uh, uh, some windows in the game screen uh, so that uh, uh, you have to place buildings. I guess. Yeah. I think that's the case. <coughs> I finally reported. Although it's not happening in the city because the area of the city does not cover that flooding. <coughs> mm, this is good. Commercial area. Mm. Good residential area too. I could try to put a stadium here and I will see what happens. Let's see. Attack me. Foul. Okay, stadium, and keyboard, and, huh. <coughs> hmm. I just have to be cautious about my budget, as I said earlier in the video. I can speed up things and <coughs> found out another powered plant. Yeah, uh, it says multi multiple times. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, the stadium's thriving. I guess. Looks good. <coughs> but however, I still need a power plant. Well, another one to be specific because I already have one here. Because there are brown outs. The flooding reported on one of the largest edge again. Mm. Mm. Hmm. It might not be happening. Uh, 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 wait, is it happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so... <coughs> What's the situation to solve it? Um, I guess that would work, and... Tornado, even though it is currently not in the city and probably will disappear from the map soon. Mm. 
um, it sounds like I'm risking the chance to make another power plant, but, um, uh, what? Uh, strange things are happening with the electricity. Yeah. I know that sometimes in my real life, well, um, well, I live in a house with my, well, buddy, some, you know, you know, toys, um, um, I guess that is something like that, huh? I actually live in a family house, and, yeah, and sometimes when I live in the house, well, on a few occasions, uh, there will be an outage. Thankfully, all those outages are short-lived, uh, because uh, we tend to solve them easy. I'm trying to insert more residential buildings into the city to cope with this strange, uh, strange little residential situation thing that I'm having, weirdly. <coughs> yeah, the situation about the electricity is just insane. <sighs> I wish. It were never insane to begin with. <laughs> and there's a tornado alert. Even though the tornado has it disappeared, I bet it seems to have disappeared. I would insert another power plant here now. Even though the power plant could be at risk of being blown up. Uh, <laughs> this is making me hard to fix this situation. <laughs> I guess this should be the opportunity for me to insert another. Oh, wait a minute, the power plant's back. Uh oh, wait a minute. Fire! Oh. <clears throat> Fine. Fire department in the mid. Um. Oh, another fire department? Okay, okay, I fix. Okay. There! <coughs> uh, well. Well, sometimes, well. Uh, oh, that was. You notice I sometimes uh, uh, browse web pages when I am playing video games like xwinman.org. Mm. It's quite a good website. Uh, I like seeing all these um, old school Unix and Linux desktop environments and window managers like X Window System, TWM, FEWM, and. Mm. CWM, etc. I think that's a good thing for me because it's very amusing and I like how lightweight and very nice it is to me. It's quite intuitive and practical to use. Yeah, because very convenient for people like me. Yeah. <laughs> now, anyway. Back to the gameplay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, this is so difficult. <laughs> what? The fire just blew up my fire department and 
my power plant. I forgot to set the fire. Ah, the fire department just disappeared. <laughs> what my <I> shame. <sighs> In disappointment of the failure of the city that I just built in this later part of the video. Okay, I'm just gonna stop recording now. Well, this is not a... Uh, this is not bad, but it could have been better. Yeah. Quite a bad end to a video, I would say. Yeah, that's... So. So anyways, uh, Michael Polis is a decent game, yeah. <laughs> Where were we, uh, what I said in the previous two videos, uh, uh, that I would, well, record more video game related videos, yeah. I'm certain that I would record more video game related videos, regardless of whatever this is Michael Polis or not. Well, even though this video is Michael Polis related, it's a Michael Polis gameplay video. Yeah, I'm certain that the next video would be something different though. Yeah. I am going to, well, think of ideas of what the next video is going to be. Yeah. And the city just... Oh, it just pulled up. <sighs> the end of the city, and therefore the end of the video.